Hello, Ian here from Dark Blades Workshop. Welcome back to another video. This one we're doing the, the fences that go around the basketball court. So in this one we're using the, the chain link fence kit from Multiverse Gaming. Um, surprising how much fencing you get out of this kit is, is really good. Um, yeah, I used one yeah one set for the the GCPD compound and another one for this one, but I've, I've still got a bit left over. Don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but we'll see. So um, without any further ado, let's get into it. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Okay, after construction, um, I went out to the garage and uh, you can see I've sprayed them with Halford's Grey Primer. Um, it takes pretty pretty well to the, the metal, but if you do scratch them, the paint comes off quite easily. So just bear that in mind, because uh, I've lost a bit of paint here and there. But um, yeah, easy to construct, and if you want to convert stuff as well, you know, I made that uh, this gate out of a couple of poles, and um, the the mesh uh, wire is quite easy to move about. So it's uh, it's you know, it's got quite a few possibilities. You can go you know dead straight and do brand new fences, but I say it's not in keeping with the vibe of my uh, rundown part of Gotham, so to make a few changes. So the plan is um, to tart them up a bit, so I've got a dark grey in my airbrush, any dark grey will do, and that's all I'm doing is doing lines, just to make them more interesting. We'll be highlighting them as well. So another section. Pretty straightforward. Same on the gate as well. Don't forget to go the other way when you flip it over. Check which way I'm going. That way. So down. Nice and easy. Okay, time for a highlight. So for the highlight, I'm using Scale 75's Caspian Blue. It's pretty similar to it's like a Fenrisian Grey or whatever the other one is, Rust Grey, something like that. And I'm going directly under where the dark grey was. See that? So just one more highlight now, and that's using bearing blue. So I've got the bearing blue. 
And so I'm going underneath that previous highlight. Just to try and make it look a bit more interested in them boring grey. Okay, onto the weathering. Um, it's perfectly okay to use oils, but I bought these especially for weathering because I thought they'd speed things up a bit. You know, so uh, I'm going to use these instead. So if you've got oils, use oils. You don't necessarily have to buy these, um, but I do like them. So anyway, I'm going to use the, the black and maybe both greens. We'll see how it goes. So I've got the dark green here and I'm going to be applying that to the bottom because I've, I've got some kind of fetish with having green towards the, the ground. Oh, I do like it. <laughs> and uh, I get the black out as well and we'll apply the black. If I can open it. Up towards the top there. Maybe a bit there. And then prepare. You can use white spirit, but I like this stuff now. It's um, odorless thinner by ammo. Um, you can probably get it off of eBay. Any odorless thinner, it doesn't have to be ammo. And same process as the other videos, you just streak. Probably a bit, a bit too much green on the bottom here, but as you probably know, you can get rid of a lot of the oil using the thinner. we're doing here. So pretty straightforward. Don't forget to do the other side as well. I'll just flip it over. green there. You can get, if you're going to get the oil brushes, don't forget you can get a dark brown as well if you can. Um, just like the burnt umber that we've been using on other other pieces like the buildings and the uh, the pavements. Sorry, my eye is really stinging and I'm trying not to rub it. But uh, anyway.
good thing about the oil brushes is it gives you slightly more control of the way you apply it. Right, there we are. So our last one. I've added a bit of green to the bottom of this one and on the fence as well. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's too light a green now. I'm going to get rid of most of it. I'll add a bit of black to it. Yeah, a bit of black. I think we're pretty much done there. These are a couple of bases for the, the basketball poles to sit on. And uh, I'll try and get them to the similar colour of the court. I think I've put too much green on these, but. I'll add some more black in a minute. Yeah, this needs black. them and come back to them in a minute. I'll finish off these posts. So Getting rid of the excess that's stuck in between the the fence. Right, happy with that. Um, so we've got two fence panels and the gate ready to go. Ready for the basketball court. I'll just tidy these up. The beauty of oils is you can come back to them and still work them. And I think I'm going to leave it like that actually. It looks pretty good. This one's a little dark. Let's get rid of the excess on a brush there. Alright, I'll leave that one there. Okay, happy. So oh, there we are, fences are done. They're a nice little addition to uh, a board I think and it's a pretty cheap kit as well if you can get hold of it. Uh, it's by, as I say, Multiverse Gaming, brilliant company. I think I've used, um, I've used that company for all the buildings that are on the board. So um, yeah, can't recommend them enough. So to finish up, uh, I've just added some posters and 
I tied the, the gate onto the fence with some invisible thread um, and that seems to do the job uh, just a bit uh, not at the top and not at the bottom of it you can't even see it so I was pretty good happy with that um, the the posters were just a piece of paper cut out and dipped in PVA it's the uh, same process as we do for the the streets and, and other bases that we've been doing before so nothing new there um, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed it um, there'll be more stuff coming very soon so keep your eyes peeled for that but for now that's it from me we'll see you in the next one cheers